Yeah. You know, I think that reality is in the, bi- the, bu- the Baha'i. <laughs> reality is in the eye of the beholder. I like to mix words together sometimes. So ultimately, how we see the world is through our lens anyway, no matter mm. what the platform is. Mm. Right. And our reality is not necessarily absolute reality. So I think it's super important to just keep that in mind first and foremost. Having different Mm -hmm. platforms for reality just enhances our ability for reality. I think technology is absolutely a cognitive evolution. We as a species continue to evolve throughout time. Given the context Mm -hmm. of the time, we just Mm -hmm. evolve with the time, right? And the time now is the digital era and there is so much potential. So I think that reality, sure, will absolutely shift. Reality is already shifting because of technology as a whole. So I think that's important to keep in mind. I also think when hearing that, people might start to panic. Like, we're just going to be like simulations. We're going to live in this world. I think constantly coming back to a place of balance, recognizing what's a healthy balance for you, what's a healthy balance for your family, and just what's a healthy balance for all of us. Um, I think that our reality is going to be created in a way that aligns with us. And I think Mm -hmm. that it is kind of dangerous to qualify that as as all bad or all good Mm -hmm. um and i think that that sometimes is where people immediately go oh this is going to be introduced when radio was introduced when film was introduced when movies Mm -hmm. were introduced well i guess it's the same as film (laughs) but anyways when new things are introduced it's always Mm -hmm. met with resistance because there's this fear of the unknown Mm -hmm. and change is inevitable unknown is inevitable and i think really Mm -hmm. leaning into the reality that aligns with where humans are is where we're going to go and we will shift and continue to find balance is my thought and hope. I, you know, I I think you said evolution, um, cognitive evolution. It just made me think like, you know, there was a very long time period where language did not exist. And then all of a sudden monkeys started talking to each other and it completely changes the way that we perceive that base level reality. So yeah. There is, there is sort of almost something there. I think the, the concern that folks would have, and I, I personally sort of have this concern, is if those things somehow become untethered, yeah. um, you know, you're, you're purely in the world of kind of imagination or self-oriented virtual environments, is something, something doesn't quite feel right about that. Absolutely. And this is exactly why we all need to lean in, right? I don't like mm. to tell people what they need to do. It would benefit us to lean in. Maybe a better way to say that. Um, but I, I think that ultimately this is the way that we are going. So at one point or another, we are going to have to lean in or yeah. we're going to stay on the outskirts. And if that works for our lives, then that's, that's great. But ultimately, eventually, we as a human species are going to evolve into this space um, mm-hmm. in whatever way that may look like. So being an active participant at the start can mm-hmm. help us create clear parameters can help us with our boundaries and balance if we close our eyes to it and we're like this is not good this is not healthy we're not contributing to the betterment of it it's inevitable Mm -hmm. it's there (laughs) like i mean if we like it or not it's there so i think being being that active participant is really of utmost importance 